All right, this plot, we got it kind of got in between a block of timber, a nice little ridge here. We got our stand just above the hill here, and then there's all swamp behind there. We know that the deer bedding area is back there and to the south. Actually, two years ago, this was the spot on opening day. I actually saw 11 deer and we shot two does. A little bit of cleanup to do um, with the big dead tree that had fallen on here. As you can see, there's still two more dead ones in here. We actually had this plot work before we got three inches of rain back in, I think it was end of July. We had it all worked up once already, had it sprayed, and now with the regrowth after all the rain, you know, it's, it's pretty green. but. Getting later in the year here, we got to get it worked up and get it prepped to, to get it planted. So uh, this one we're planting because there is sunlight. <laughs> the last couple of years, there's more and more branches, trees falling down here. It's starting, starting to be a few, you know, open spots where the sun can hit here. We are we're pl planting a uh, White Hill Institute product, tall time tubers on this side. It's actually what we had in here last year, and then we got three inches of rain in uh, August and flooded the whole thing out. But this year we did something different. Usually we close off this ditch. This ditch forms in. Uh, in the spring, and we used to always just kind of plow it in. The water had nowhere to go, obviously, when it, when we get those torrential downpours. So this year we left the ditch in, thinking that, okay, at least the water has somewhere to run. We actually dug it out. You can see it's, it's dry right now, but it flows out into the swamp now. So we're hoping that if we do get some rain, this will stay dry enough so the stuff keeps growing. Well, as you can see, we got uh, three or four stands trimmed out. We got some of the plots worked up and uh, we're getting there. Hard work will pay off. Yeah, we're planning on sticking it out till dark. We still got three stands, two of our better stands that we wanna uh, get prepped yet tonight. Um, but stick with us throughout the season on uh, Rated R on our Facebook page at Rated R Hunting or follow along at the Outdoor Report and uh, hope to bring you some uh, pot action that uh, you'll all enjoy. Stay tuned.